Good evening, my friends. It's the cover your ass phase of the attempt on Donald Trump's life. Secret Service explanations for security failures not adding up. Again, DEI hires don't have any life skills, and they don't realize that their explanation doesn't make any sense at all. And they're being mocked wildly for it, of course. So the Department of Homeland Security Inspector General launches an investigation into itself. So that's not going to go anywhere fast. The number one question is how the Secret Service could have failed to secure a rooftop a little over 400 feet away, which former Army sniper Corey Mills called a sniper's paradise that was so obvious he won wondered if it was an intentional failure. Spoiler alert, I believe it was. Now, I was a average shooter, and even on iron sights, I could probably miss a rabbit at 100 yards with no problem. 100 times out of 100, even with a 5 mile an hour wind. So there's the FBI washing the evidence off of the uh, top of the building there. Dangerous slope roof, by the way. Uh, in typical government fashion, their excuses aren't adding up. And guess how many people will be fired? Zero. Zero. This is Obama 3.0. Uh, nobody got fired in Obama's administration. Not even for drone striking children. Barry loved doing that, by the way. According to DEI Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle, who has rejected calls to resign, of course, there was no agent placed on the building because it had a sloped roof. Mm-hmm. That guy didn't have to have a problem with it. I hate heights, and I should wouldn't have had a problem on that roof, by the way. The building in particular had a slope roof at its highest point. There's a safety factor that would be considered here, and we wouldn't want to put somebody up on a sloped roof. Get the fuck out of here. That's the best you can do. Come on. Idiot. So, Tuesday interview with ABC News. So, we know the decision was made to secure the building from the inside. Now, pro tip, I've been in a metal roofed building way back in the day, in the 90s, and you could definitely tell someone was on the roof. And this was a loud-ass plastic factory, so you could definitely tell there was something going on on the roof. So, this is obviously absurd. Does anyone buy the, the real story? I don't know. For starters, the counter snipers near Trump were perched on a roof with a steeper slope. So, here's the... Uh, Oh, dog barking. There's a sloped roof. Oh my god, two guys on there. Don't fall, buddies. Bad slope. Good slope. There you go. Snipers had eyes on the shooter before Trump went on stage. That's how you know. That's a big red flag that this is not adding up. Okay, if that was the case, they would have pulled They would have pulled the event immediately if they were following proper protocols, but they were not. Also not mentioned in this article is there was zero aerial assets being employed here. I mean, the United States has a $7 trillion budget. No one could spend $100 at Amazon to get a fucking cheap-ass drone? I don't know. Conspicuously absent from the Secret Service explanations are reports that a local police de- or police department sniper stationed on the second floor inside the building saw the shooter outside the building, not saying his name, while in looking up at the roof. He then walked away, returned, whipped out his phone, when one of the snipers took the first of two pictures of him. Again, there's a potential dangerous su- person, a person of interest. Or first, you're going to take a picture of him? Or are you going to, like... And then he took out a range finder, which at that point, the sniper radioed to a command post. He then disappeared again and came back a third time with a backpack. Snipers were called in once again with the information that he had a backpack and that he was walking towards the back of the building. By the time the other officers came for backup, he was already gunned down. So, law enforcement had eyes on the shooter the entire time, took pictures of him, notified their command posts, and nothing was done until Crook shot at Trump, in which case the Secret Service snipers returned fire and killed him. They allowed this to happen, my friends. Uh, local police officers radioed agents about a possible suspicious person before Trump came on stage. It's unclear if the sniper teams were alerted. They never should have let him go on stage. They should have whisked him away and said, sorry, we got to lock down the area, maybe later. So, uh, the Butler County Sheriff Michael Sloop told CNN the Butler Township officer encountered the shooter on the roof of a building before the shooting but retreated down a ladder after he pointed a gun at the police officer. There was a security failure. There were like 15 security failures, but there's not just one entity responsible. Uh, Trump's would-be assassin on Secret Service radar three hours before the shooting. He was the alleged shooter and was on the Secret Service's radar after he attempted to pass through a metal detector with a rangefinder. Again... 
rangefinder. So we'll skip most of this stuff here. Meanwhile, law enforcement has suggested that the shooter used an air conditioning unit to climb onto the dangerously sloped roof while questions are being asked about various ladders. So over here is the SWAT ladder. I got better pictures over this over here. So, well, not much, that much better. But he allegedly bought a five-foot ladder at Home Depot. I don't know what that would be used for, but uh, he has it on this little box here. And here's the SWAT team ladder. Allegedly, it's a 10 or 12-footer. Can't tell. Uh, dead guy's there. The gun's there. So, I mean, that's still rough so they take the ladder away interesting and then here's the back of the building where all this this is where the, where the alleged ladder was and I'll, I'll let you in on this little secret here this box is not like a prefab metal box it's made of resin plastic I own a similar one and if a human being tried to stand on that it would instantly collapse because there's really nothing holding it together but uh, little pins inside of a plastic uh, injection molded piece and little holes on the other side of the piece. There's like not no hardware holding this thing together. So it's a Craftsman resin storage shed. Again, if, if the ladder is set up in this position here, first off, I don't know how you even get on this thing unless there's like th th like 15 bowling balls in it or something. And then if you place it on the far left side there, th first off, if a person tries to get on a ladder, if it's in that position, the entire box will fall over, or again, it'll fall apart. Okay, this, this doesn't. This does not make any sense to me at all. Not at all. Again, when I moved, I moved this, this resin box. It's taller and narrower, but uh, I took it apart. It took me five minutes to pull it apart, and it took me another five minutes to put it back together. It's, it's just not that complicated. It's not that t high tech at all. Like, I think I have a my Christmas front yard inflatable dog on there. That's it. And that weighs about two pounds, maybe. There's the box. It says, do not stand store items on storage shed roof. People conject that he may have had the gun in there, which is possible, but uh, it's kind of dangerous to leave a rifle in an unlocked, you know, resin shed. It doesn't matter if it's locked or not. I mean, I could, I could get in that with a, uh, I don't know, a screwdriver. A flathead screwdriver in about 10 seconds, so... Because you just pop one of the sides off or pop the door off its hinge. Easy. Anyway, rambling about resin boxes here, so... This was Dan Bongino, and this was yesterday. And he, I trust Dan over any... Uh, basically most any elected official these days. Because he's a former C uh, Secret Service agent. So let's listen to what they have to say on... This was right at... This was in the night... Last night... Get the dick out of your mouth. Last night from the RNC. It was Tucker, uh, Carlson, Dan Bongino, uh, Don Jr. And I forget who the other person was. So I was just showing Tucker some material from a... a, a an unimpeachable source, let's just say, on the matter. That post, according to my source, that roof was supposed to be a police post. It, it was supposed to be someone there. They're now making up excuses, saying the pitch or the roof. Uh, my source says to me, they, no one knows why the post didn't show up. But so that's a nonsense story they're putting out in the media. And I was also told that the Secret Service director has been given instructions from the administration and the DHS secretary you want to keep your job, you'll keep your mouth shut about this. They're not putting that out there, but if you... The DHS secretary, the administration, probably whoever's basically called Jill Biden, we assume, uh, and Alejandro Mayorkas, Cuban Jew, Zionist, globalist, cocksucker. If you want to keep your job, you will keep your mouth shut about this. I can't wait for the leaks, my friends, because they will be coming. You get those side post logs, and those police instructions, and it was a post on there, and they didn't show up, and no one checked. Someone could have got your dad killed within. Oh, easy. And I do believe this was malicious, not intentional. Uh, well, it was intentional, but it was also malevolent. So that's that. So a Jew Mayorkas is blocking Secret Service Director from testifying. Yes, why yes? Look at that, this cock holster there. Uh, Department of Homeland Security has opened an investigation after his Secret Service c catastrophically failed to protect former President Donald Trump at a rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. Trump narrowly escaped death. And, yeah. And the DHS inspector has opened an investigation. Yeah, they will investigate themselves and find absolutely no wrongdoing. And nobody's going to be held accountable for any of this. Uh, the House is conducting an immediate and thorough investigation of these tragic events. 
But the work has already begun. The American people deserve to know the truth. Yeah. Hope in one hand and shit in the other and see which one fills up first. Uh, people are floating the second... Uh, the second shooter theory where the highly trained assassin somehow missed from the water tower or something. I don't know really. I don't really look into those claims. And they're basically repeating the opening credit sequence of The Watchmen, which I believe was 2010 or 6 or 8. I don't know. That similar in that area. It's three hours of time I will never get back in my life. Uh, but, uh, and then there's the whole Trump, this is a, a false flag, and Trump faked the whole thing. So I'm sure that's popular on BitChute. But, uh, no, I do not think that's possible. I just think this was, all these deliberate security, bl these catastrophic security blunders were basically allowed to happen. And they wanted Donald Trump dead. And no one's gonna, but the leaks are gonna come. Uh, will anyone be held accountable for anything? I doubt it, and I wouldn't be shocked if there's yet another attempt on his life. So please, for the love of God, uh, bring better security. <laughs> so, wow, it's a long one. So if you like my content, hit subscribe, like button, notification bell. No one made it this far. Leave me a comment. I read all the comments, even the ones from you deranged people on BitChute. So, pick up some non-perishable food, and God bless.